Hey there, uh, shelter builders, preppers, refuge, hunters, video watchers. This is Waylon here. This is what the refuge looks like nowadays with the uh, surface binding cement on it. The surface binding cement is what holds the uh, brick together. Uh, you can see here where one side's a little darker. That's because it's still wet. I put a thin coat on it, then I put another coat on it, and I'm just trying to build it up thicker as I go. It's kind of hard to do. It takes a lot of practice. Now let's come around here to the other side. There's a spray bottle, a small shovel. Big difference from the uh, cinder block look, ain't it? Now keep in mind, this is only one 50-pound bag of Sacrete, not sacrete, uh, surface bond cement. So there's about 25 pounds of cement on the outside of that wall, and about 25 pounds of cement on the other wall when it's dry. So that's one bag right there. And you're looking at least another bag to do the inside of those two walls. Uh, so you're looking, we need two more bags. It's $20 a sack. For a 50 pound sack of what, what we used to call sackcrete. But this is a little different. This doesn't have the gravel in it. This is nothing but porcelain, cement, and uh, fiberglass strands. So here, let me give you a look at the package. Alright, so here's the bag. It's called Quick Wall. It's made by the makers of Quick Crete. Comes in different colors. Uh, I chose white. Because uh, to reflect light and to better show where it's adhering to uh, the brick at. It says it's a uh, mm, fiberglass reinforced Portland cement. Mm. So it's concrete used for the construction of dry stack concrete block walls. Uh, it's waterproof. It strengthens your masonry walls. Uh, you can rehabilitate or redecorate existing walls that you already have. And stucco structures, you know, like in the southwest, a lot of stucco walls you paint. I mean, it, I actually like it. I mean, it's just really rough looking. And I think it looks better than cinder block. Uh, a 50 pound bag of this was $20. Uh, it's good for either above ground or below ground applications. It says it doesn't matter. Uh, one, let me see if you flip this over and I'll check the bag. One, it's got a chart on the side of it here. Let me straighten this up so we can read it. Now... This wall here is about a 5x5 five five area. And I really wish I would have surface bonded it before I put the uh, support braces in here. But I'm just going to paint these support braces white. And uh, I may go over the entire wall with some white uh, exterior uh flat latex but this says that the number of square feet this wall is about 25 square feet and it says i can use one bag and go up to a quarter inch thick with one bag so my average thickness on this is only about an eighth of an inch because i did two five by five walls with one bag so that's 25 pounds of concrete on this wall and 25 over there on the other wall. So I will be getting uh, two more bags of this quickcrete. And uh, when I get it, I will simply touch up, finish filling in the edges of this 2x4 uh, over here. And uh, fill in all this roughness around where the 2x4 lays on. It doesn't really stick to wood that good, but I'm going to go ahead and fill in all these gaps. Trowel in as much as I can right back in here. And uh, probably put another coat 
on this half of the wall here and then I'll come around and do the other side see if we can get over here I'll start filling these in and get this all locked down that'll probably be one bag and then I will see what I can do about getting this shelf out of here and surface bonding all this right here and somehow getting that all sealed in if, if I can't get it surface bonded I will uh, take a putty knife and some uh, expanding foam or some kind of caulking or latex and go down this strip right here and then surface bond all this together put the two by two framing up in the doorway attach the uh, metal door right now is just sitting in here so uh, that metal door will be going crazy so we're going to put do two more bags of sackcrete coming up here soon not sackcrete excuse me two more bags of surface bond cement and i'm just going to put it on really thick try to get everything covered up real good with uh, another 100 pounds of concrete or surface bond cement but i i'm thinking that instead of paying 20 bucks for this i'm going to do some research on the internet i should be able to take a uh, portland cement and uh, mix it with this quick wall and probably do all right so i could just get a, a 20 dollar bag of this and a 10 dollar bag of portland cement mix it dry mix it all together and then uh, mix it into my uh my plaster box i just used uh one of these uh cheap knives are about seven bucks I, I got this one at menards it's a uh, master force made in usa fiberglass or plastic handle i got one of these you just scoop it up and come up the wall then I went to my local pawn shop and I got this drywall trowel for a buck and I caught this on sale at my local Lowe's. It's a 12 inch by 5 inch green foam float for $2. Put that in the water and let that soak out of there. And this little, this little mortar mix box is $5.88 about anywhere. So... You want to get a nice little brush for cleaning the brick. So you can see, I mean, it doesn't take a whole bunch of tools, but you got to have a little bit of stuff. So you put that in there, let that soak. I'm going to let all these tools soak in this bucket. Oh, need some five gallon buckets, by the way. They're handy for everything. So that's how you surface bond. Don't worry about it looking pretty. Just uh, try not to make a mess on your floor. You just take a brush when that dries and it scrubs right up and sweep it up. But uh just do the best you can keep in mind that uh you're not a carpenter and neither am i but if you like it subscribe click thumbs up comment whatever i'm just showing you that i am still working on the refuge uh, i had to make another house payment the 620 dollars this week i made one last week and now i have the last one that will be due on the first so We'll be all caught up on the house. Bank can't take it away from us. So uh, we are still trying to sell this house. You know, and uh, if you're interested in moving to Missouri, where the average pay is $10 an hour, but you can get a nice place like this with a fallout shelter. These walls are solid 8-inch cinder block, which in the future, I may do the same thing depending on how this refuge turns out. I may surface bond all these on the outside i may just uh touch it back up with some more liquid nails like i did on all the seams right here but i think i i think i like the surface bond cement what do you think gives it a rustic southwest look and the little bit of white stuff that's on the wall and all that well this is all getting painted white anyway i got some uh two gallons of some uh paint left over that i had when I painted the interior of the house upstairs last year all white. So to help reflect the light. 
I could paint this all white, trim it in real good, make it look real nice. And uh, paint these boards white for you, get that all matched in. But uh, if you're thinking about building a refuge, man, I say just get on board the, the survival train and do it. You don't have to post videos like me on YouTube. You can just get it done, you know. And I'm in here. Oh, mercy. Can't believe I did that. Goodness gracious, I started a load of laundry and forgot to close the lid. Oh well. Alright, well anyway, thanks for watching my uh, refuge video. Like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Leave a suggestion. I mean, come on. Help me out here, people. All right, later.